Colonel. I only grabbed the wheel because I thought you were gonna kill a bird. But it wasn't a bird, was it, Joe? It was my hood ornament. <laughs> you tore off my emergency brake to save the life of Chief Pontiac. You are taking the bus home. Fine. Now, are you sure this is the building Penny went in? I think so. This is some kind of a dance hall. Let's go. Penny? Daddy, what are you doing here? What am I doing? What are you doing with Sluggo here? No way, Daddy, I'm working. Not here, you're not. Yes, I am. This is my job now. Please leave me alone. Get your coat. We're going home. Uh, sorry, mister. But if you want to dance with the girls, you're gonna have to wait your turn. No, you don't understand. I just want that girl over there. That's going to cost you a dollar a dance. Now, please, no trouble, OK? Look, I'm going to talk to that girl right now. Suit yourself. Doc, Festus. <laughs> Oh, if you insist. I don't believe it. My daughter is a dance hostess. She is letting people pay to dance with her. What kind of place is it? Very nice. <laughs> For a place called the Girls, Girls, Girls and Beer. But Joe, I know you're concerned about Penny's welfare, but you know, maybe you're overreacting. I am not overreacting. How can you sit there on that big fat bar stool and say I'm overreacting? I said maybe. <laughs> Joe, I'm sure she just means it as a temporary job. Don't blame yourself. I don't. I blame you. <laughs> All I said was take whatever you can get. <laughs> or a words to that effect. Joe. I'm sure this isn't Penny's idea of a great job, but she needs to work it through herself. She shouldn't be doing this. Joe, she's changing. She's growing. You've got to accept that. Look, it's like when I came out, you were so worried I'd never be happy with my new life, but I am. Yo, you were talking about coming to terms with your homosexuality. I'm talking about dancing with sailors. Same difference. <laughs> I raised her. From a baby. And for what? So she could turn into a woman no self-respecting guy will ever want to date? Didn't you tell me you once dated a taxi dancer? Oh, Sheila, that was different. What? Why was it different? Because Sheila was a girl who had never been my daughter. I never had to hear Sheila say things like, Daddy, can you fix my dolly? I never played horsey with Sheila. <laughs> well, once, maybe. <laughs> In other words, if you were Sheila's father, you wouldn't want her to date a guy like you. Exactly. <laughs> Don't help me anymore. Joe, those places aren't what a lot of people think they are. That's right. I heard they're very carefully regulated by the police. I'm gonna go down and get her. Joe, Joe, what Cliff is trying to say <laughs> is they've passed new laws to protect the girls. The police departments usually keep files on them now so they don't turn into hookers. <laughs> Good going, Donald. You really have a knack for calming a man down. I'm usually not trying to. <laughs> What's going on? My daughter is a dance hostess. The girls, 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 and beer. <laughs> you know the place? Sure, I go there all the time. <laughs> The way you move. Thanks, I'm really having fun. I was being facetious. So was I. <laughs> Joe, how long do you plan on us dancing with Penny so other men don't? I don't know, tonight, tomorrow night, till she turns 50. Couldn't we just do away with her? Donald, I am not leaving here till she agrees to talk to me. 
Well, it might help if you didn't start the conversation with, hello, slut. <laughs> Hi. Would you like to dance? No, thanks. I prefer not to pay when I trip the light fantastic. <clears throat> hey, I've been watching you dance, and you're terrific. How about a free one? It's on the house. Why, sure, babe. <laughs> you know, you're the kind of lady who'd make a preacher want to kick a hole through a stained glass window. <laughs> Raymond Chandler wrote that. So how'd it go? She willing to talk? I don't think so. Every time I mention your name, she makes this gurgling sound. Well, you still got two tickets left, Joe. You might as well go give it another try. No, I am tired of being humiliated by my own daughter. Then you should probably leave, because something wicked her way comes. <laughs> Want to dance? No. Want to shave my head? <laughs> we'll dance. Don't start with me, Dad. Fine. We'll just dance, okay? Boy, I remember when dancing with you used to be fun. Remember when you were little? You'd dance around the room with your feet on top of mine. Little did I know it would turn into this. You're the one who told me I shouldn't be snooty. I meant overly snooty. A little snooty's good, like the Pope. <laughs> Lou. Lou. Carlotta won't let me dance with the girls. She said I could do this for half price. Go get a drink. Okay. Penny, the thing is, no self-respecting person would take a job in a place like this. I have respect for myself, and I took it. And please, call me Tiffany. <laughs> I just don't like seeing you in this kind of place. Tiffany. I'm dancing, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what they hired me for. This is not what I raised you for. You raised me to believe in myself and make decisions, didn't you? I tried. Well, now you've got to respect the choices I make. Not this one. <sighs> Daddy. They turned to me and said, you're hired. No, maybe you can't understand what finally hearing that meant to me. It meant I was finally worth something. You need this to prove that you're worth something? Yes. And you could understand that if you weren't so hard-headed. I have to be hard-headed. I'm a father. <laughs> Get you. No. But if it makes you feel any better, makes you feel any better, I realize that I've been marking time in junior college and that I gotta get a plan going. What do you mean? I mean I wanna go to a real college. I wanna do something with my life. Henry, this is great. So quit this job. No. Not until I've paid for the dresses I bought and the shoes and the harp. <laughs> Look, Penny, I do. I have faith in you. I just wish I could accept this, but... Then just do it. I have nothing more to say. If you want to ruin your life, it's up to you. Dad. I, I don't know how to say this, but most men tip. <laughs> I 
having fun? No. That's because you keep dancing with that strange one. Hey, she's not strange. She's just out of place in this environment. And that's the truth. Hey, did you know that uh, she owns a harp? <laughs> she's compulsive. Why don't you try one of the other girls? No, thanks. No harm. I mean, this one isn't going to last long around here anyhow. What do you mean? She doesn't have what it takes. And what's that? She doesn't play up to the men like she should. I tried to train her, but she's just too... Hard-headed. Yeah. <laughs>